Hi guys and welcome to another episode of The Crystal Goddess. I'm Laura DeLue and I'm going to show you how to use a loop. There it is. So we've got a loop which is, it's basically a magnifying glass. It's 10 times magnification and it doesn't have a great range so you need to have the stone quite close. So the way you want to do this is you're going to need a light source anyway. But I'm going to show you what to do. In fact, do I have a... Yeah. I'm going to have a look for a loose stone, which I've got here. Is that going to be too big? So the first thing you want to do is I've got a loose stone, little amethyst. I'm going to clean it. So the first thing you want to do is clean it. This is so important because you don't want to have fingerprints on it. If you're trying to find out inclusions from the inside of the stone, the last thing you want to see is a load of greasy fingerprints on the surface. Now, the how you then do this is you lay the stone on the cloth, table down. This makes it easier. And then you use the tweezers I'll show you on another episode how to do this. I think that's going to be the easiest thing. Is that going to be too big? No. Great. So there you've got it. You've got your stone. So in one hand, you've got your tweezers. In the other hand, you've got your loop, your 10 times loop. And what you want to do, I'm just going to pop, it's going to look so terrible, but I'm going to pop my elbows on the, on the table. In fact, no. So one of the ways is to put your elbows on the table to steady yourself because you don't want to have a handshake when you're doing this or you tuck your elbows in tightly to the body. That's probably the easiest thing to do. Now with the loop, you want to hold the loop and you want to put your thumb against your cheek. So both eyes need to be open for the whole duration of this. So none of this, no squinting, both eyes needs to be open. So you put it against your cheek and it's going to look a bit weird because with both eyes open you can see the circle on one side and then you can see what's going on elsewhere. Um, but then you want to take this hand and place it on the other hand. I'm just going to hold this a little bit closer up because that's going to give you the stability. And then with it being a 10 times loop you only have a certain, f oh that's really pretty, you only have a certain field of vision. So you then want to bring, I don't know if you can see this, but then want to bring your tweezers in to that field of vision and it magnifies it beautifully. You can actually then get to see inside the crystal and the surface of the crystal as well, or should I say the surface of the gemstone. And this is how you start to be able to identify a little bit more if it's a real gem or if it's glass or if it's been made in a lab because inclusions do tell lots of tales and inclusions is a very important part in identifying and also the surface the um, the polish you can often see the polish um, on the surface if it's poorly done you get these fire marks um, but that's how you do it. So from the beginning, you pick up your gem in between the tweezers. If you have a ring, then just hold it by the ring. Um, you put your thumb against your cheek and you put your other hand against this hand that you're using now. And you will then bring the stone. Oh, it's got a chip in it. I don't look after my stones very well. I'm so bad. Oh, it's got another chip in it. No. Oh, I'm so sorry. Make sure you look after yours. Oh, heck. It's got a whole chunk out of it. Yeah, and then bring it into vision and see what you find. Because that by the naked eye, it looks like a really pretty, very perfectly finished amethyst. And actually up close and personal, I've seen two chips and a proper chunk taken. Oh, I can see the chunk there now. Yeah, so that is how you use a loop. 
Um, thank you very much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe and ding that bell. Um, and I hope to look forward, I hope to look forward? No, I do look forward to seeing you next time on The Crystal Goddess. Please do put any comments in the bottom. Um, mm, that sounds dodgy, doesn't it? Please put your comments in the bottom. Uh, please put your comments down as to what you'd like to know next. So we've got the loop. I think I probably should show you the tweezers next, shouldn't I? Um, or maybe you'd like to know about the dichroscope. Maybe you want to know more about the um, Chelsea colour filter. Uh, whatever it is, let me know. And I look forward to seeing you next time on The Crystal Goddess.